Hello friends, today we are going to show you how to solve an initial value ODE or ordinary differential equation using explicit Euler method. This explicit Euler method is a finite difference method. So we will provide some introduction to FDM or finite difference method. To understand finite difference method, we need to understand Taylor series expansion. So we'll give you an introduction to Taylor series expansion as well. To give some perspective on finite difference method, many complex uh, ordinary differential equations and even partial differential equations cannot be solved easily analytically. And so we need to resort to numerical methods. Finite difference method or FDM is a numerical method that converts the ordinary differential equations to algebraic equations. We can then solve the algebraic equations to obtain solutions. Finite difference methods like other numerical methods produce approximate solutions against exact solutions obtained using analytical methods. For solving many real world problems, Many times we don't need exact solutions in general, but accurate solutions are preferred. The objective of, of a finite difference method for solving an ODE is to transform a calculus problem into an algebraic problem by discretizing the continuous physical domain into a discrete finite difference grid approximating the exact derivatives in the initial value ODE by algebraic finite difference approximations or FDAs. Substituting the FDAs into the ODE to obtain an algebraic finite difference equation or FDE. Then solving the resulting algebraic FDEs. These are the typical four steps involved in solving an ODE using finite difference method. So to understand Taylor series expansion, uh, consider an infinite series. The Taylor series expansion is an infinite series expansion of any continuous function. If f of x is a function of x, we can express f of x plus delta x equals f of x plus f dash of x times delta x plus f double dash of times f double dash of x times delta x squared by 2 factorial and so on. Here f dash of x is the first derivative of f of x and f double dash of x is the second derivative. So likewise we can write f of x minus delta x equals f of x minus f dash of x times delta x plus f double delta of x times delta x squared by 2 factorial and so on. Equation 1 is called the forward Taylor series expansion and this is used for explicit Euler method and equation 2 is called backward Taylor series expansion and this can be used for implicit Euler method. We note here that delta x is a fraction and is a small value. So delta x squared, delta x cube, etc. and higher powers of delta x are even smaller and hence the terms associated with them can be ignored in general. To obtain explicit Euler method equation, we again do the Taylor series expansion as shown here yn plus 1 equals yn plus y dash at n times delta t plus y double dash at n times 2 fact 10 uh, divided by 2 factorial times delta t squared plus y triple dash at n divided by 3 factorial times delta t cube. When we rearrange equation 3, we get y dash at n equals yn plus 1 minus yn over delta t minus half times y double dash at n times delta t minus 1 over 6 times y triple dash at n times delta t squared and so on. 
if we truncate the remainder terms we have uh, y dash again equals yn plus 1 minus yn over delta t minus half times y double dash tau times delta t here tau lies between t and t plus delta t we can write equation 5 as y dash at n equals y n plus 1 minus y n over delta t which is an order of delta t equation 6 is the first order forward difference approximation of y dash at grid point n now consider a general non-linear first order ode of the form y dash equals f of t comma y and the initial condition is y at t naught equals y naught. Now we rewrite equation 5 here. Now substitute equation 5 into equation 7. We get yn plus 1 minus yn over delta t minus half times y double dash at tau n times delta t equals f t n comma y n. Note n is the base point. Our, our objective is to find y n plus 1. So we rearrange equation 8 as y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t times f of t n comma y n plus half times y double dash of tau n times delta t square. If we let f n equals f of t n comma y n, we will have y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t plus f n. This is of the order of delta t square. So by repeated application after n steps, we get yn plus 1 equals yn plus delta t times fn. Now we lose an order and so we get this equation to an order of delta t. Equation 10 is the finite difference equation fd of the explicit Euler's method. To summarize, the FTE is explicit since Fn does not depend on Yn plus 1. You can go back and check that. Fn is a function of F or Tn and Yn. So Fn does not depend on Yn plus 1. So the FTE is, is explicit. The FTE requires only one known point, hence it is a single point method. And this is the initial value problem we can solve using this FTE. The FTE requires only one derivative function evaluation that is f of t comma y for a step. The error in calculating y n plus 1 for a single step, the local truncation error is of the order of delta t square. The global, that is the total error accumulated after n steps, is of the order of delta t. The explicit Euler method is conditionally stable. For a linear first-order homogeneous ODE of the form O dash plus alpha y equals zero, the stability criteria is given as delta t is lesser than or equal to two over delta two over alpha. So we need to make sure this that the stability criteria is met. If the stability criteria is not met, then the solutions won't converge. So now we look at a few definitions in finite difference approximations. The first one is consistency. A FTE is consistent with an ODE if the difference between them, that is the truncation error, vanishes as delta t tends to zero. In other words, the FTE approaches the ODE. The order, the order of a uh, FTE is the rate at which the global error decreases as the grid size approaches zero. The order of our explicit Euler method is of the order of delta t. Stability, AFTE is stable if it produces a bounded solution for a stable ODE and is unstable if it produces an unbound solution for a stable ODE. So we need to make sure the stability criteria, criteria as discussed previously is met. Convergence, a finite difference method is convergent if the numerical solution of the FTE, that is the numerical values, approaches 
the exact solution of the ODE as delta t tends to zero. Typically, if a FDE demonstrates consistency and if it demonstrates conditional stability, we can say that the method is convergent. Now we can we can do an example uh, ODE problem. dy over dx is given as shown here. From x equals 0 to 4, we need to solve this problem with a step size of uh, 0 0.4. The initial condition at x equals 0 is y equals 1. In other words, y0 equals 1. The exact solution in this case is available and is presented below. We will use um, explicit Euler method equation here to do the first step, which is y1 plus 1, n plus 1 equals yn plus delta t times fn. So the independent variable can be x or t. In this case, the independent variable is x. And the function is expressed as fn equals negative 2 times x cubed and so on. Now we let n equal 0 for the first step. We get y1 equals y0 plus delta t times f0. We considered a step size of 0 0.5 and the initial, that is delta x equals 0 0.5. And y0, the initial condition is given as 1. We can then calculate f0, which is f at x0, y0. In this particular case, the y0 term, the y term is not present in the function. So we will we will evaluate f0 as shown here, which is equal to 8.5. Then we can evaluate y1 equals y0 plus delta t times or delta x times f0 which is 1 plus 0 0.5 times 8.5 which is equal to 5.25. Likewise y2, y3 etc can be evaluated. We will now do this problem using MATLAB. We're going to solve uh, initial value ODE using using explicit Euler method. The function is of the form. The problem is of the form y dash equals f of x comma y. The explicit Euler method is given as y n plus one equals y n plus delta x times f n. And the the initial value the ODE is given here. And we need to numerically integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 4 using step size of 0 0.5. The initial condition is given and the exact solution is given as well. This is the MATLAB code for the uh, explicit Euler method, which is given over here. y of i plus 1 equals y a plus delta x times the function. So we will run, now run this case. Uh, first, before that, we need to set the step size as 0 0.5. So in this case, we get, for the first step, we obtained a value of 5.25. And this is what we calculated when we did the problem manually. So we can also notice that this y0, y1, y2 and so on. And these do not match the exact value. So we can see a big difference between the, uh, the values calculated using you know, numeric, numerically using explicit Euler method and uh, the values obtained using the exact values obtained using analytical method. 
so now to improve the accuracy we need to decrease the step step size so let's make it delta x equals 0 0.05 and rerun this case and we can look at the graphical graph here and we see that the error is getting smaller we'll go one more step and make the de delta x as 0 0.005 in this case the error is very small if we go one more step the error is of the order of delta t here so it's first order accurate so if we go 0 0.005 as delta x and rerun the case then uh, in this case the exact value and numerical values are very close to each other so since explicit order method is a first order method the delta x needs to be very small to get accuracy we'll now summarize what we have done so far in this video we presented explicit Euler method to solve an initial value ODE. The finite difference equation is explicit since Fn does not depend on Yn plus 1 as we have seen before. The explicit Euler method is conditionally stable in general. All explicit methods are conditionally stable. The global error is of the order of delta t the error can be minimized by using smaller steps so we can get more accurate solutions in the next video we can look at implicit Euler method to solve the same initial value ODE the advantage of implicit Euler method is that the implicit methods are unconditionally stable thanks for watching the video if you have any questions please post it i will be uploading the code into your website and i'll provide the details in the youtube thank you